welcome you all to the new section of computer graphics today we will learn about the output primitives so first of all we are going to see about what is mean by primitive so primitive is nothing but it is known as a basic so basic things so if you need to display a text you need a character so a character is a, a character a combination or it is a collection of ca character to form a text so if you need to draw your shapes so you need a line or a rectangle or a curve or a some shapes you need these are the basic elements so, so, so these are these object is known as a basic element to draw a shape so the character is a basic element to display a group of text so primitive is known as a basic so what is mean by output primitive so output primitive is nothing but a many basic element are used to produce an object is known as a output primitive so first of all we are going to see about how the picture can be described so the picture can be is described in a several ways either in plotting a pixel so plotting of pixel in a graph or it may be in geometrical shape or it may be in hard object so object is nothing but some of may be in wall it may be a tree so see about the definition of the output primitive so output primitive is nothing but it is a set of function it is used to create a different geometrical shape is known as an output primitive so example phigs so phigs is a one of an api which render a 3d shapes which render so which displays the object in a 3d way so api is nothing but application program interface so phigs is abbreviated as programmer is hierarchical interactive graphic system so it is used to display a different shapes so it is a phigs is a one of the graphic package which contains a set of predefined function it contains a set of predefined function so each output primitive can be used to display two things so first one is input coordinate data so input coordinate data is nothing but a input value so input value to the particular object so for the particular object so next one is other transformation so other transformation is so changes in the shape just say changes in the shape is known as a transformation it may be a resize it may be a resize or it may be a rotate or it may be a scale so these two things are used to display the object on the screen there are two types of geometrical shape first one is a primary geometrical elements so primary geometrical elements is nothing but it a first one is a point and second one is a line so additional geometric shapes is nothing but a circle or a cube or a polygon so these are the some of the output primitive in the first session of the output primitive we are going to see about the what is mean by point so point is nothing but a, it is a pixel so it is a it is a group of pixel it is represent in a square shape it is represent in a square shape so pixel is also known as a point so a point is, so a smallest element of a picture is known as a point or a pixel so for example if we have a mountain if we zoom the particular place in that it can contains a single pixel is known as a point or point or a pixel so a point contains a two coordinate one is x and another one is y coordinates so these are the two values of the points so two there are two values in the points that is x and y axis so size of the pixel is equal to size of the pixel on the display monitor so size of the pixel is based on your uh, display monitor if you are using a mobile phone so it contains a some some different types if you are using a laptop or a tv or a pc it contains a size of the pixel so the points can be plotted by converting a single coordinate position so it can be plotting of a single coordinate position a position furnished by the application 
furnished by the application. Program into an appropriate output device we are using. So example, in a CRT monitor, in a CRT monitor, when electron strikes, so when electron strikes, for example, it is, it is known as a CRT monitor. So if the electron strikes at a some diff, some at a some point when electron pauses it strikes at a some point it emits an it emits an image that is known as a point so when electron pauses on the crt scan it uh, it emits on a or it uh, locates on a some position is known as a point if it generates a some image that is known as a uh, point in a random scan so in a random scan vector system it stores the two information one is plotting point information and another one is coordinate value so plotting point information is used to display the display list so which type of display is known as a plotting point whereas coordinate value is nothing but a instruction so coordinate value is nothing but it contains a x and y value so it is converted into a voltage and to generate an electron beam on the screen. For example, in a black and white raster system, it represents the point can be represented by in a binary value. So binary value is nothing but 0 and 1 in a frame buffer. In a brave frame buffer. If the value is 1, it emits an electron. That is known as a, it emits a point or a pixel. If the value is 0, it emits no emission is takes place. So, that in this value, there is no nothing, no point or no pixel is displayed. In an RGB raster scan system, in a color code system, it uh, the color is stored in a form of pixel array and the NF in the frame buffer. So, each color having a separate 6-bit six digit code so for example 2 comma 2 is an address pixel of the point so it is an x and y axis x it contains a x axis and y axis so where we are having a numbers x and y axis we have 1 2 3 and y x axis 1 2 3 so if we have 2 comma 2 so 2 comma 2 we are going to plot in a 2 comma 2 so 2 in x axis and 2 in y axis so this is the particular point in the graph So next we are going to see about the next output primitive is known as a line. So line is nothing but joining of two points. So joining of two points represents the line. For example, joining of these two points is known as a, this forms a line. This is known as a start point and this is known as an end point. So line can be generated by generated in a straight line between the two points so it can line is nothing but it is a straight line to with her it contains a two points so the two point is nothing but a starting point and an ending point so this with the help of this we can draw it draw a straight line the line can be generated either by following raster scan or a random scan Ras using either you we can use raster scan method or random scan method so line can be generated by selecting an appropriate x and y x coordinate in the output device so then the it, uh, then the fill output device fill the be, uh, fill the position between the two endpoints in an analog device uh, that is mean by random scan display. So analog device is nothing but a vector plot machine. Can draw a draw, uh, draw a line smoothly with the help of one point to another point, either in horizontal or vertical in, in x with the help of x and y direction. In a digital device, that is mean by LCD or a printer, the line can be drawn by plotting a discrete point between the two endpoints. So X represents the pixel column number that is left to right in a vertical direction. So Y represents the scan line number that is in a bottom to top that is in a horizon. For example, this is a uh, gra graph. So X is an this is known as a x axis this is known as a y axis so x axis contain left moves from left to right and y axis moves from bottom to 
up so this is in a vertical position and this is in an horizontal position so to, to, to draw a line we are using we are using two types of function so set pixel so set pixel is used to uh, store an information in a frame buffer and get pixel is used to retrieve an information in a frame buffer it contains a two parameter x and y axis for example the line is generated by a, a straight line for example x1 and y1 and y x2 y2 for example it contains a 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 5 so if the value so this is known as x1 y1 x2 y2 so if we have a x value 2 comma 3 so 2 comma 3 is plotted here and uh, 4 comma 5 so 4 comma 5 is plotted here so these two points so these two these two points forms a, a single straight line and if we have a line generated by a pixel by pixel if we have an image so if the image can be zoomed in zoomed out the it have contains a different types of pixel in each position so it can it may be in a zigzag view now we are going to see about the address scheme so address scheme is contains a two axis so first it contains an x axis and next contains a y axis so x axis is known as a pixel column number and y axis is known as a scan line number so x axis starts from 0 to n number it in a in the direction of left to right whereas y axis that is known as a scan line number contains a coordinate starts from zero and it ends in n value in a bottom to up manner if we have a value uh, three comma one and we have a five comma four these are the two values so we are now going to see about the how the address schemes are plotted here for example the first is known as a x value or so x as so a x and second is known as a y so x equal to 3 comma 1 so 3 is uh, 3 in an x axis uh, 3 in x uh, the 3 and the 1 in the y axis so this is known as a first point and next one second point is a 5 so 5 this is a 5 and where is the 4 this so these two known as a these are the two addressing scheme of this two value so now we are joining this two lines to form a addressing scheme of the particular point so let me summarize is this topic so now uh, we we'll, we know about what is known as an primitive and what is known as an output primitive so on the in this output primitive we discussed about points and lines thank you